Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in NX. In this tutorial, we are going to model this machine component using NX. While modeling any component in NX, first do the add material feature, then go for the remove material feature. In this model, I have already modeled it. This is the view of the uh, our component. In this tutorial, we will learn step by step how to create this component using NX. To model this component, first go to the file, new, here choose model, our units are in millimeter, choose millimeter, specify the file name, specify the location where you want to save it, save ok. This is the component we are going to model it, for easy explanation I am just keeping like this. First, I am going to start with this sketch, for that go to the sketch, choose the front plane, save ok. I am going to start from here, one straight line, one vertical line, one horizontal line, press the roller to confirm, again press the roller to confirm. Now take the circle, from here to here, somewhere here, this point. Then click the here, press the roller to confirm. Again press the roller to confirm. Delete the circle. Now take the line again from here. Just connect it here. Press the roller to confirm. Again press the roller to confirm. Now remove the unwanted segments. Trim this one. Trim this one. Press the roller to confirm. Now we need to define the dimension. Here you can see the total length is. 154 that one we can specify it or we can specify from the radius I'm, I'm just starting from the radius the radius of the inner circle is 18 just specifying this radius is as 18 do you want to scale the entire sketch say yes press the roller to confirm now we have defined this radius then start defining other dimensions from this edge to this edges 154 from here to this distance is 154 press enter then here you can see the center of the circle to this edge is 54 from here to this edge which is 54 And here you can see the height, uh, height is 10 mm, press enter it and this length is 6 mm, press enter it. Now we have defined whatever the dimension we have, this is actually inclined its source, delete it. This is semicircle from this point to this point. This will make it the value of 0. From here to this point, which is 54. Now we have defined the complete model. Then go for the another uh, offset lines. Take the circle again from the center point. The diameter is 20, 28 plus 28 because they have given radius press the roller to confirm now take the line again from this point here just make a line little higher press the roller to confirm again take the line from this point vertical line Press the roller to confirm. Again, press the roller to confirm. Now specify the sides and first uh, specify this height as 20. This one is 20. And this side is, is here you can see 10 mm. Now remove the unwanted segments. Take the trim option. 
remove this one this one this one this one and this one. now we can see sketch is fully defined then go for the finish sketch here you can see there is an extra edge just go to the edit again edit it go to the trim feature remove this one also then close it go to the finish sketch go to extrude select this sketch one here I make it symmetric value total extrusion length is here you can see 72 press enter save ok at this sketch now I have created this base feature then we will create this cylinder for that go to the sketch again select this front plane that is a mid plane now create a circle specify the diameter of the circle the diameter they specified as 36 this diameter is 36 say yes and uh, from the bottom to the center of the circle is 82 from here to the bottom is 82 press roller to confirm then again <coughs> here you can see the center of the circle from this edge is 18 plus 46 plus 54 for that just from here to this edge the dimension is 18 plus 42 plus 18 plus 46 plus 54 plus enter it the total length is 108 now the circle is fully defined then go for the finish sketch extrude here we make it a symmetric value the total extrusion length is 54 just 54 press enter it save ok just hide the sketch now we have created this cylinder then we just want to create this connecting plate for that we need to create one mid plane to the cylinder just for go to the datum select the surface from here to the distance is 108 reverse the direction make this plane little bigger say ok now we have created a plane mid mid of the cylinder then we'll create a sketch here now just select this datum plane go for the sketch now take a line just hide this plane this is the bottom one from here here somewhere here here somewhere here this point just close this point press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm now this line is defined now we need to define this line this line in and this 54 then from the center to this distance they are given is 28 we cannot take a center point or that you just go here this one is the center point just make a line Define this one as 106. The center point is from here to here is 82. Not from here, from here to bottom. Orient the sketch. Here to bottom is 82. Which is 82. This line you make it horizontal line. You can define this. Take this point and move it to here. Just connect to this. Now just make this line as a axis line. Now we can define the uh, dimension 28 from the From center to the di bottom distance is 28. So from here to this point, which is 28, 
save ok with both you make it equal length control z this line and this line you make it equal and this distance also we can specify it from here to here which is 9 mm and this dimension we can specify it as some 20 now you can see the sketch is fully defined go for finish sketch then extrude here we make it symmetric value the total thickness of the extrusion is 10 mm say ok here we are creating a sketch little more that that is to uh, proper connection with the cylinder surface now we just want to make a fuse or unite just go to the unite again select this one and select this one say ok just hide the sketch then see can the proper connection with the cylinder and uh, uh, this cube is properly happened now we have created this plate then we will go for this creating these two ribs for that just go to the sketch again select this front one save ok now take a line here somewhere here it should be a tangent similarly here press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm then go for the finish sketch choose the rib if you are not getting this rib tool just go to the menu insert design feature rib automatically it will generate the rib symmetric value the thickness of the rib is 10 mm say ok just hide the sketch similarly we need to create a rib this side also for that go to the sketch again select this one save ok take this line connect this point here we need to make a tangent line press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm go to the finish sketch again use the rib same symmetric 10 mm save ok just hide the sketch now we have created this feature also then we just want to create a holes here with the two holes diameter of 12 mm and one hole with a diameter of 18 mm first we will create this hole for that go to the sketch again select the surface save ok take the circle just create a circle here press the roller to confirm now specify the diameter which is 12 mm say yes the center point from here to here which is 18 similarly this distance also be 18 from here to here also from this point to it's not 18 actually we need to create one line just go here just create one line this line is 17 mm just make this as a construction line then go for the dimension from the center point to here which is 18 mm 18 mm press the roller to confirm now see this is our sketch distance from the center to it is 18 mm center to center distance now just go to the finish sketch go to extrude just change the direction here we make it until next make sure you are in the subtract save ok now we have created a hole here the similar hole has to be mirrored to this side also for that go to the mirror feature select the feature is extrude 14 and plane is here you can choose the plane this one here you can see the object the object is going to generate in this here just save ok now we have created these two holes then go for this hole for that choose the standard hole just rotate it move your cursor to the edge of this previous cylinder then the hole will be generated at the center here you can see the diameter of the hole is 18 normal to face until neck subtract just say ok <coughs> now we have created this hole also this also we have done then we just want to create one cut here for that go to the sketch again 
select the surface save ok take the rectangle from here just create one rectangle press the roller to confirm now here you can see the center this length is 20 mm say yes press the roller to confirm total length is 72 minus 20 which is 52 here 52 divided by 2 here 52 divided by 2. the distance from here to here which is 52 divided by 2 press the roller now this height has to be defined this height is 10 mm now sketch is fully defined go for finish sketch extrude change the direction until next subtract save ok now we have created this cut also then finally we just want to make one round with the radius of 10 mm just go for the edge blend select this edge as well as select this edge the edge is radius is 10 mm just save ok see the component is done we have created all the features right click here go for orient view isometric view just hide this datum coordinate this is our final object in this we are finishing this tutorial i hope you like this video if you like this video please share to your friends next tutorial will come up with a new component thank you for watching my videos thank you